Welcome to this Wood City Collector presentation. I'm Paul and we move the Ghostbusters to the other side because today, the day this video premieres, August 1st, 2022, those great builders over at the Diecast International Builders are having a Tootsie Toy, Midge Toy, or German Car Restoration event to pay respects and uh, remember Opa of Opa's Diecast Restorations, of which the th the uh, fifty seven Chevy, and was his was one of his cars, and the restored Spider Man car. Oops, don't want to drop it and chip it. This restored Spider Man car was done by him, thanks to uh, the ability to get them from Big Charlie's Model Garage. We got a couple of his cars in the collection. Now I'm not much of a restore. I'm not much of a restorer or a customizer. I do collect cars, and along the way you pick up some stuff. Picked up some uh, Tootsie Toys, uh, no Midge Toys. A couple of them that we're going to show aren't exactly Tootsie Toys or Midge Toys, but they're along those lines. These probably aren't the kind of Tootsie Toys, oh, um, for the most part, oh, except for one, that Opa would think of as Tootsie Toys, but they are. We start off with an old one that I restored, but uh, the way I stored it, it chipped up. This is a Hubley. Let's zoom out a bit. A Hubley fire truck from probably... 30s, 40s. Just simple, simple red, simple red dye gloss spray paint. I got the paint again. I can always give it another coat. Got this for like a buck at the, at the thrift store. You can see in there it's humbly. That's not exactly a Tootsie toy, but as we've come to learn that uh, Opa's father was in fact a fireman, so he loved his fire trucks as well as his Tootsie toys. And this is a man oil fire truck. Pretty interesting casting. Probably the same era or a little earlier. Same red, same basic red spray paint. This looks a lot better that I did those than they were originally. Keeping with the fire truck theme, but moving into Tootsie Toys. We've got a obviously a Tootsie Toy fire truck. This is a probably a oh, 19, uh, 1970. So this is the era of the ones I collect. Working ladder. Swivel's 360. Doesn't extend. Could probably use a bit of a restoration because it's chipped up on the top. But uh, for the fire truck collection, it works just fine. Uh, then we've got a couple of cab over trucks. They, I think they probably had, so they obviously had some kind of a trailer. Got a red and a blue. Got the hitch there. Tootsie Toys. We've got a Jeep of some sort. Jeep. In brown. We got, uh, let's see, what next, what next, what next? A good old Reliant K. One of those Canadian jobby cars that the, like the bare naked lady sang about. Still got the stickers on it, so we're not going to touch this one. We've got a rescue truck. It's a Jeep Cherokee, I believe. Some of these I've probably have shown off in videos before, but uh, it's a good compilation to do all the Tootsie Toy stuff. I don't know if it had stickers on both sides. More than likely it, did, it would have originally, but time goes by. Now going to the germ. Oh, no, one more. It wouldn't be the, it wouldn't be me if it weren't hatchbacks. Actually, a couple more. This uh, Chevy Citation X11 in beautiful metallic silver, black interior, stickers on both sides. Why it has a hitch? I don't know. Would you have hitched something with your Chevy Citation? Probably not. And we've got uh, Jeep. Another Jeep. This is gonna be a later one because it's completely plastic except for the axles. Thrift store find. Big chunky tires, all plastic body and uh, interior. Got a couple that you might have seen carted. I know I showed off because of course, they're not only hatchbacks, they're Volkswagen rabbits. Got a red one that's a survivor from the year I was born, 1982. In the hatchbacks series with the opening, ha opening plastic hatch. And a true survivor 
which I could pull out of the, which I did pull out of the blister because it, it can fall out. The Tootsie Toy Hitch Ups, the Volkswagen Rabbit, the motorcycle and the trailer. The Rabbit itself can come out because the blister is seen better days. Awesome little rabbit. And that's not all. We got a couple of more Volkswagens. They ain't golfs or rabbits. They're not hatchbacks. They are the Kubel Wagon, which is apparently based on the thing. It's an eagle on the side, spare tire on the top, big engine in the back, and the iconic Volkswagen Beetle. Now, something that's a little more up Opa's way of the traditional Tootsie toy, this itty bitty little Porsche, which you probably would have seen if you saw my last video, saw the video I did the Porsche challenge. And I know I said I was, I'm not much of a restorer or a customizer, but I did manage to do a custom. It was Midge toy, Tootsie toy, or German. So naturally I had to take a Polizei Pulitza, a Mark I Golf by Matchbox. I made, painted it in silver, lowered it, gave it some green light, gr some green light uh, wheels. Did all the details you need, and uh, this is my Tootsie Toy and uh, the Light Collection, paying tribute to the Tootsie Toy King Opa of Opa's Diecast Restorations. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.